All right, in this video, I'm going to go over how to uh, update your Phantom to the current operating system, version 1.20, and how to go through all the steps that that entails. So to begin, what we want to do is let's format our USB flash drive. Insert that into the Phantom G's memory. And we'll go to Menu, Format USB Memory and press F8 select and then F7 and that formats our USB flash drive and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to back up our data to our newly formatted USB flash drive to do that we go to menu and we go to project and in this case I'm going to perform a save as project press F8 select and then what we're going to do is we're going to choose the destination of where we're saving that project All right, because I'm working from the Phantom G's internal memory and that's where my project is I want to save that to our USB flash drive as our destination so I press F8 save as I can give that a name and we're ready to save the project Okay finished there and now we're going to power off the phantom insert our key back into the phantom with the update file copied to the key and it could be the same key that we did our project backup to power on the phantom and the phantom will automatically go into its update mode and there we have it start now and then you'll see completed right here and that's it we're finished the update's been performed turn the phantom off and remove your USB flash drive from the phantom G and power it back on and then take and remove the updater file from the flash drive. So mount this back on your computer and take and remove the .bin file from the key. That's very important. If you don't, you might accidentally update the Phantom, re-update the Phantom again. Okay, so now we're finished. And the next step that we want to do is we want to go to System and we want to go to Factory Reset. And we want to reset perform a full factory reset. You always want to do that after you finish updating the Phantom's operating system. Alright, so our factory reset is just about finished and once the factory reset is finished, press F7 OK. Alright, and now we're back to the factory presets. So all the live patches, all the single patches, and the factory demo song has been returned. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to restore the data that we backed up to our USB flash drive. We'll reconnect that to our memory and press menu. So we go to project, press F8 select, we'll go to load, press select, and USB memory. And there's my project and backup. I'm going to press F8 load and I'll load that to our internal memory. And we're finished. And now here's my project back. So our final step is we want to go back to menu and we want to now write our project to the Phantom G's internal memory because right now it's just residing in RAM but it's not, again, it has not been written to the Phantom G's internal memory. The Phantom G has two places for memory, the internal memory and then USB memory. We're going to go to Project, Select, and to write the project back to our internal memory. We're going to go to Save as Project, all right, and we're going to choose the destination of where we want to save our project we want to save it to the internal memory. So we go to F1 and it's going to be saved 
to the internal memory. That's our destination. Press F8, save as, and OK. And what will happen is your project will be saved to the Phantom G's internal memory now. It's going to be renamed phantom001.prg. And that's the process.